Right, in this video we're going to see some very powerful um, statements that can be used within a data step in SAS. They're the retain, uh, lag and diff statements. So these allow you, if you recall how the PDV worked, uh, when it would take rows of observations back and forth, once it had taken a row of observations across, it would basically empty the PDV. Um, what these statements allow you to do is to not empty it quite yet, but we're going to see this with a little example now. So the example we're going to use is uh, using this data set here, the, the birthday money data set, so um, uh, I'm always very cautious about how much money I'm getting for my birthday, and so we see on my first birthday I got a hundred uh, dollars, pounds, francs, uh, and those things were a bit worse on my sixth birthday, but I want to do some, some proper analysis of of this, so let's let's open up SAS. Let me get rid of this. Reorganize my my file slightly. Oops. Right, and so the first thing we need to do, just to remind ourselves, so if, you, if you're if you very proficient in SAS, skip ahead in the video a little bit, but just to remind ourselves how to import a data set. So proc import data file equals, um, and now depending on what system you're on, the, the location of your file will be different. So birthday money.csv. I'm not spending too much time on this because I, I feel that we're pretty proficient in it now. Alt equals MAT008. I'm going to put in the MAT008 library. Birthday underscore money. Um, replace anything that's already there in case it, I forgot to delete the data set. And get names from the first row. And run that. Now that shouldn't cause any problems. Output data set. Oh, yes, there should not be a semicolon there. Run that. Go to my libraries, MAT008, birthday money. We have the data set we were just looking at there. Okay, so first of all, what if I want to create a running total of my amount so I can find out after a particular birthday how much money I had. So that's relatively easy, so I'm going to create a new data set called BM underscore analysis, so birthday money analysis, and I'm going to set MAT008 birthday money. And I want my total to be my previous total plus the amount. So now my PDV will go back and forth, calculate the total, but it will calculate the total as a function of the old total. And importantly, normally, as, as is, the code wouldn't work because it would have emptied the total on the previous run. So I simply use a retain statement, so retain total, which says, okay, once the PDV is taken the calculated total um, from this data set to this data set, don't empty the PDV. What we can also include as an option is an initial value for total. So I'm going to set the initial value of total to zero. And if we run that, that's gone to my work library, birthday money analysis, we have this running total. Okay, so we see that from year five to six, I went from 170 pounds to 175. Now, let's say I wanted to um, obtain uh, the difference every year. So I want to see how well I did from one year to the next. So let me just copy this code. Um, so that's fine. And then what we want here, um, so I want to keep total, is a new variable, yearly difference. And I want that to be the amount so the amount I got in that particular year minus the amount I had in the previous year. And so this is where we use diff. So diff, and then I want to say, uh, sorry, lag. We'll get to diff in a bit. So lag one of amount. 
And so this just does the same thing. It, it calculates the amount in the in the previous year, keeps that in the PDV, and calculates this. Um, so if I run that, put the we have this yearly diff. So from year two to year one, I'm got a fifty extra pounds. Went down in year three. Got year four was a very bad year. Year five was an excellent year, etc., etc. Um, but that little number one there is important. I can get a bi yearly difference as well. This to be the amount um, of that particular year minus lag two of amount. Okay, so when the PDV comes to collect the data, it sees it has to put in bi yearly difference, puts in amount here, and takes away amount from um, two rows prior. So if I run that, by early difference, so 120 minus 100 is indeed 20, 0 minus 150 is indeed 150, 500 minus 120 is indeed 380. Um, so of course it doesn't necessarily need to be the difference here, I could for some reason need to take the sum or any other uh, SAS functions. And in fact, you'd never take a difference with lag. Um, you'd always do more complicated things with lag, because SAS has a nice, um, a nice function set up within it to take the difference. So, other yearly difference, which is simply diff, and then we put a number and amount. So that calculates your difference um, automatically. So that expression is equivalent to this expression. But it's just some shorthand. And we see that that is the same as that. Okay? So if you were to only learn one, learn, remember lag, because lag, um, you, can, you can do differences with lags, but diff allows you to do things a bit quicker. And, and you can change that to a two and rerun that. And it just does the, the expected. Um, results. Okay. Because it calculates your your current one with the difference from two ago. Right. Um. Right. Um. So what I could do with this, if I wanted to, and this is just to remind ourselves create a, a plot. So proc g plot data equals birthday money analysis and I want to plot my um, yearly diff against whichever birthday it was. So this is just a little exercise just to see why you'd potentially need to do this. And so there we see the plot. It's all very simple within SAS. Okay, so that was a, a quick video of how to see how to take um, how to keep things within the PDV, which is extremely useful when it comes to SAS. Basically, allows for column operations as opposed to row operations.